What's going on everybody? This is Dat Fancy here, and today we have a Neptuna deck, brand new, and this is showcasing a mix of sports synergy and imp synergy. And I've done pretty well with this. We have some finishers. Um, the main thing I'm trying to pull off here, really, is mixed up Grave Digger and like the Cosmic cards. And I feel like with the Cosmic cards, you can have more uh, kinds of synergy. Imp synergy might be a little bit better with this. Sports synergy might be a little bit better with this. We're also showcasing the new uh, Going Viral, which I only got two of. But hopefully that's enough to uh, really see how the card uh, plays out. And yeah. So um, let's get into this. I've had a couple really good runs. Um, I'm up to 31 in rank league, so I'm slowly making it up. Um, hopefully I can get um, ultimate in the five week period. And yeah. So we're up against Rose. Um, level 37, Rose. Uh, let's see what to do here. You gotta play uh, slow. Freeze Rose is definitely still a thing. Um, so with this deck, you normally wanna you want to, um, Weed Spray isn't good. You want to see what kind of synergy you want to go for. So I think we get rid of the Doctor Who. Okay, so we're going Imp Synergy. Um, this is fun. So, kind of a lackluster hand here. We don't have something phenomenal to go off of. We are going to wait a little bit because most Roses open with Freeze and playing really fast against Rose. Usually backfires. So we see a Shellery here. Maybe it's not Freeze Rose, maybe it's some kind of um, Tempo Rose. Maybe it'll be Aggro Rose, like um, like Fry Em Up did that one time. Um, we'll play this here. Why not? We could have... Maybe the Shallery is just a distraction and it's gonna go Rose. Or it could be a Ramp Rose, and that's a thing. Yeah, so here we go. Um, so we're running Space Cowboy. I think you really have to build your deck around Space Cowboy for it to be really useful. I'm not sure, though. I haven't gotten much uh, play with it. Um, what do we do here? We could just play the Cosmic Imp, what, in front of the flower? Is he trying to go up for something here, like Boomerang? Maybe we'll do this. We'll get another Imp. Imp Commander would be good here. I really tried to bend. Wow, he's gonna use go to find that. That's fine. That's fine with me. Cosmic flower. Okay. Still trades. Okay. Um. Yeah. It's really been. I've been like teeter tottering back and forth with the cards to use in this deck. You know, you gotta really get that right kind of balance between sports and imps. And um, maybe I haven't hit it yet. Maybe I have. I'm not sure. Um. So I think we're going mainly imps. Um, let's just do this, I guess. I might not do too well at playing this. Well, we could just stick this back into a gravestone, get another imp. I don't know. I don't know. We could set power fly. Okay, spires. And he got that. Nice. Um, do we play this here? Let's do it, why not? What do we see better in the future? I mean, we could save it for the long-term pogo for sports. I don't know. Metal Paddle's pretty good to get it from there. Um, so I think we're just gonna play the Deadly here. And, um, let's just play this. Let's see if he has an answer for it. I mean, what can Rose do to this? He already used Godify, which is amazing that he used that on the arm wrestler. Makes, like, no sense. But, um, if he doesn't have harder rules, okay, he's got that. <laughs> he's got that, guys. He's got it coming. Man, okay. Pretty good play. Briar Rose is a pretty good answer. I guess Briar Rose is later, but, um... <laughs> But we went that. We do not want to frenzy this because it's just gonna die. Um, we're not doing too bad here. Wait, does that move and then die? Yeah. Okay. Um, because he only has two cards left, so we're just teeter tottering here. Um, we got this from Cosmic Imp. Yeah? 
let's, um, do we want a pogo? Yeah, we're gonna pogo there, and we're gonna do this. So realistically, what I'm trying to do here is just bounce whatever he's gonna play this turn, whether it be big or, um, crazy. Um, we don't really want to bounce his Briar Rose, so we're just going to bounce his Sunflower, and we're going to move over the Rose to the Sumo. That's the right play. I'm not sure. Now, we actually run no environments in this deck, and that is not recommended. Guys, if, if you are running a deck in set 2, you need environments. The Venus Flytrap Planet is a very viable card. Like this, this, this environment right here, I have no idea how I'm going to take care of it. I don't know if I can take care of it. So we get that. Um, we're actually just going to play this, I think. Wait, do we want to go... Yeah, okay, we're going to go going viral. We're going to go here and here. That's what we're going to play. He might think we're going to play Weed Spray and play around that somehow. Maybe the going viral will get him a little bit. Let's see what happens. But yeah, you need to run environments because... He's gonna heal for three. We're gonna hit him for probably four. Um, we're for two and it's locked. Um, so he already used Godify, right? Yeah. Okay. He's gonna weed whack that guy. So his remaining powers are Transmogrify and Freeze. Um, so if we want eight, okay, we can play this. Yeah, going viral eats through that. No, it doesn't. Oh. Okay, I think I'm done. Ooh, the less costing brain damage. Is that a good play here? No. Is that not a good play? I should have waited. Yeah, I think I should have waited. Well, we can go in viral and frenzy. We can frenzy in three. So maybe that'll be a really good play. Aloe Vera. Okay. There, Neptune's jaw drops from the legendary spawn. So we're gonna play going viral. Very good. He heals up to, you know, 26 health, but we can do some stuff here. And we'll just frenzy. The brain vendor wasn't that bad there. It gives us another. Um, it gives us um, the ability to frenzy as well. This eats through it. He does heal for another three here, so the healing is definitely a problem. He's low on cards, so if I can keep up my tempo, and keep up my my threats, I can I can do it. I can get past his wall here, and we have a point block, which definitely does help. Freeze a zombie. He's trying to prevent three damage, which that might have been helpful later, but he's doing it for the card probably, probably primarily. Um, let's just play this. Maybe we can. Uh, oh. Oh no, that was conjured by me. Um, maybe we can bait out uh, one of his. Um, what am I saying? Brain in this. What I was trying to say. Um, but no, it does not look like that. Let's get some stuff in here. Um, so the Mayflower does get him a card. He's getting card draw, and that's not very good. Um, we're probably in trouble. Oh, the splash damage works with Venus right Wow. That's good. Wow. So hopefully he doesn't get late game from the main flower. I'm scared. I'm scared. Uh, we only run two plank walkers in the deck, so we definitely have to use them wisely. Here we get sports coach, but I'm not sure how well it's gonna face here. I wish we had a frenzy card. Okay, the next going viral we get, we're gonna play this. We have to save our cards and be cautious. Do we go for this? More than likely, he's gonna front these things, and then it's just gonna get blocked. But I don't think I want to use my sports coat. Okay, we're just gonna play Plank Walker here. Um, Insert Galactic Warlord would be great. Um, anything but Swabbies. That's pretty good. We actually get to freeze a card. Let's freeze this guy, obviously. That's awesome. His environments have backfired. Yes. This is this is what you do. You don't get rid of their environments with your own. You just you just take them by surprise and you just you use you use them you use their environments against them. Yes, English. I'm the best at it. 
Wow, Briar Rose is an amazing top deck. Now the um, Plank Walker dies. He's going to go free. Um, hopefully the Frenzy Guy gets a pass here. Oh no, wait. Does the Frenzy Guy draw a card? It doesn't. No. Oh, it heals. Am I going to lose this game? Is this just going to be a stall? Well, at least the 6 hits. Wow. Wow, what am I going to do? I can sports coach in 3, and that saves everything. Okay, so I'm gonna play this, this, and this. Do I leave him the open lane? Of course not. Can't leave him the open lane in case I can go to Okay. So, the Sports Coat still lives. If he tries, and, and he doesn't heal here. Yeah, here's the Cornucopia. Wow. This could get rough. Jericho spawns in front, which I still don't understand the mechanics of uh, spawning in front or behind. This is not looking well. Um, I have no idea what's going on here. Yeah, Briar Rose dies, does not heal. Does it kill it? Wait, it does kill it. Oh, because it's when a zombie does damage. And it did damage to the. Okay, that makes sense. I accept that. I accept that. We're just going to leave the Sunflower Lane alone, I believe. Um, we still have an answer to the water lane as of late. This is not looking good though. We have this. I mean, he's just gonna get into the Astro Vera here soon. Hard choke basically wins. This is rough, guys. This is rough. Definitely not. I do not know if we're gonna be able to come out of this. I guess I, I couldn't keep up the tempo. I'm not sure. Um, see, everything is even now. The board, the board is clear, and we're up by one card. Um, but he's at 20 health. So what can I do? I can't do much. Um, we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do this, and he's gonna play something in the Venus flytrap lane, and we're just gonna scooch it on over. Or he's not going. So. That's fine. Wait, his last power is Transmogrify, huh? So I'm just gonna Transmogrify the 6-2. Hey, we can come back from this, guys. We can come back from this. Get, uh, Cuckoo Zombie. Get, um... Oh, wait, no, it's only a 1-drop now, huh? Yeah. We got chicken. That's pretty good. A 2-2 two -two from a 1-drop? I think that's above average. He has all these sunflowers. They're probably not gonna go to much use. I mean, Briar Rose is always looking. And we get it going viral. Wait, should we have saved the stealthy amp? We can't think about it. Should we have saved the stealthy amp? Um, it would have been transformed no matter what happened. He, he drew a sunflower. That's gonna put that over. And he's gonna do that. Okay, well, we have Frenzy, my boy. Oh, yeah. Uh, what can we get? As a strike that'd be good. I mean, new straight is... We get another going viral. Let's just play it. Let's just have a bunch of going virals. We can do this, guys. We're going to go viral, and we are going to win. Mixed up. The anti-synergy is real. The anti-synergy is real. Okay, can we win this, guys? We got another going viral. Hell yeah. I mean, anything wins here, though, right? I mean, I'm just gonna pass. Let's just hope he doesn't get something good. Okay. That's fine. I can deal with that. Um, we're just gonna keep going viral. We're gonna have our entire deck going viral. If we're gonna lose, this is how the how, this is how we're going to lose. And we get Plank Walker. We just got Plank Walker. This is a game changer. We can win this, guys. We can win this. He's healing, but we have the best block meter that you can have. And it's crazy good. I think we're just gonna plank walker right off the gate. This is a crazy good top deck. We can get this, guys. We can get this. This might not be a lose. This is a long match. We got that. Um, I think we're just gonna play this. Why not? This is a total of. I mean, he needs he needs a good card. What is he gonna get? What can he get? Taco is good because he can draw into something else. Cornucopia, great zucchini. He gets a splash damage. That's not enough. That is not enough. We are going to be doing 
11 damage to his face right now. He's gonna heal for three. But he's going to be down to four. This is crazy. Did we just win this game? Did we just absolutely win this game? I think we did. I'm just going to mix up Grave Digger so he has... I mean, what can he get here? What can he do here? I think I've won. I think we just won, guys. I was... I mean, I wasn't completely hopeless, but I was like, this is this is bad news there. And we got it. That's it. That is absolutely it. That's insane. That is insane. This is one of the craziest matches that I've ever had. And we won. And what turn was this? This was, um... This is turn 17. Turn 17 win is OP. That is a 16 minute game, my friends. That was insane. This star is worth so much. Look at this. We're gonna get those 15 tickets. Those are the most expensive 15 tickets that you'll ever, will ever see. It's, it's one minute per ticket. Okay, we're almost out of cat lady range. Let's go. Let's go for the second game, guys. This is actually going to be the last game because the last game that we just played took up 16 minutes. So we want this video to not be, you know, hours long here. So um, we're up against a rank 34, and he has the golden sticker, which I think means that he got Taco League last. So this man has been grinding. He probably has a very good deck. We are going Sports Synergy, so we want to get rid of the imposter, and we got the perfect hand. This is the perfect hand. This is what I'm talking about when you're. When you're playing this, you want to go Sports or Imp, and this is perfect. Team Mascot goes with both of them. And if you guys heard, there's actually going to be a buff later on in the game to Sports Synergy. So, um, Team Mascot is going to be a 1-4, and uh, Sports Coach is going to be a 3-3, as well as um, the All-Star Zombie, the one that costs, like, 5 or six? What does All-Star go Zombie cost? I think it's, it costs five. I think it's getting a buff as well. Like maybe, um, I think it, it's costing one less or something. We're gonna move the Sweet Pea over here. But yeah, Sports Synergy is going to be better, guys. And it can only get better with um, the times, I think. This is a crazy good hand. I don't expect a lot of games to get this kind of hand. But I think it's kind of like, um, you know, it's kind of a hybrid deck. This deck is. Um, Kind of like, you know, Valk, Trickster, uh, Professor Brainstorm. Because you're really just, you're really seeing what your starting hand is and playing a certain way and going a certain way with it. So yeah, this is actually a sports zombie, the new vacation sports. Um, it's uh, Amphibious and Frenzy, and that's pretty good. You can actually get uh, Cosmic Sports Star from Cosmic Sports Star. And we have the answer. We have the answer right here. And it costs cheap, so that was a very good top deck. Our opponent is in trouble a little bit. Um, 11 health. That sweepy didn't do him too well. He should have read into it that it was a sumo zombie. Uh, really. Um, we can go full out. Um, I think we're going to save for Frenzy, actually. So we're not going to sumo here. We want to keep at least one lane open in case we draw into Sports Coach or maybe some of our late game. So, um, because I've had games where I just fill up the board with, like, two attack creatures, and, you know, it's not enough to really win it. Um, so it's pretty bad. Uh, what do we do here? Do we frenzy this so it doesn't die? No. No, we don't. Okay. Alright, he's gonna block here. Did he use a power yet? Yeah, he used freeze right away, so that winter squash is a lot less potent than you might think. And he's going to buff that up. Interesting. So he wants that to live. Um, this is a pretty good one, by him. He's got a 4-1 Mayflower. How are we going to take that out? We're going to move it in. Move it in. Okay. Um, we're going to do this and this. So hopefully we're going to move the, the Mayflower into lane 1 or 4. And hopefully our team mascot can survive. He's gonna bounce what? The mascot? That's pretty fun. We're just gonna trade even on up. Because we are twice as ahead in health. And we're only like one card behind here. This is fine. This is fine. I think we have enough lead on him to uh, start trading here. Um, we have three uh, mascots in hand. Let's just play these guys. Um... He used grow and he used that. 
Do I want to play around super? Yeah, let's play around super. Five damage to face is not potent enough right now for me to have to play around it. We can play cosmic uh, imp there, maybe. So he's going to... What's that card called? Uh, Planet of the Grapes, right? Yeah. And um, I'm going to plant here. Hurts. He gets to draw a card, and he's going to bounce... He's going to bounce that one? He doesn't want the free card? Okay. That's, I can see that being a, uh, a controversial play. Um, yeah, I guess destroying both of those is um, better than just um, getting the free card. So we're just going to imp there, and we get Turkey Rider. Hmm. Interesting. Wait, should I have done this? Oh, I should have Dr. Space Timed and then done this, I think. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll just do it now. That was a misplay on my part, and then I could have frenzied. Wow, that could have actually made a, a pretty big difference. Uh, but we're doing well here. Let's see what our opponent gets here. Another Planet of the Grapes. And two. And the Bean. Oh, dude, Planet of the Grapes and Admiral is amazing. Look, he's going to draw a card here. He gets to do two damage, draw a card. That's pretty good. That could that could put him back in the game. Uh, Frenzy wouldn't have helped in that lane. Uh, this is pretty fun. The Turkey Rider is really good. When it gets destroyed and we get that leftover, we can use it with, um, with all of our kind of low-cost cards. We take that out. Eight Pogo. Pogo. Pogo, Pogo, Pogo. I think we're... Do we Pogo in two? Okay, I think we Pogo in two in Cosmic. And we can still Frenzy. And that's still play. Walrus Rider. That's pretty good. Getting a water lane. So yeah, we get the, um, we get the plus off of, uh, Doctor Who. You know what? I should have... <laughs> I keep misplaying little by little here. That might get him back into this game. I should have, um... Uh, I should have played the Cosmic Imp before I did the Gravestone. For sure. Get Plucky here. Sure. What do we bounce? What do we bounce? I think we bounce... This might be weird. I'm bouncing this. Is that a bad play? I don't think so. Maybe I should have friended you there, actually. Frenzy and two, frenzy and three. Hopefully this blocks the block. Come on, get rid of that block meter. You got this. You got this, Cosmic Imp. I believe in you. Yes. Okay. Um, he'll probably pocket super. What's his last power? Below. Below. He does not want to blow. Um. So if that's below, we want to give him as many targets as we possibly can. Um, we're gonna do this and this, yeah. If that's below, we want to give him as many targets as possible. If he has, um, super, he can get rid of my team mascot. That's no big deal. He now has to deal with the water lane. He needs a jumping bean. He needs, I mean, the new leaf card. The one that goes in the amphibious lane and can uh, bounce back any zombie. Or the one that goes, the one that has amphibious and goes into an environment and can bounce a zombie. That can get rid of. Yep, there's the there's the blow. Hopefully he doesn't get the one in the water lane. Anything else is fine. Yes. Um, if that's his only answer, I mean that's that's good game. He doesn't have an extra admiral. We bounce back the um, we bounce back the one that didn't have amphibious, which I think is the uh, is the best play, and I think we got it. Yep, there's the concede. He just didn't have an answer to the water lane, so we're definitely gonna count that. And we got two wins with his deck, and we actually rank up. Rank 32. So we were a spine apple, guys. We were a we were a humble little spine apple just starting out. Then we turned into a lady who was obsessed with cats. And now we are rank 32, which is a gentleman, guys. We're going into the party. We got our pinkies up, and we're chilling. 
So yeah guys, this is the Sporta Imp deck. It's a mix between Imp Synergy and Sports Synergy. We got the two legendaries we pulled out of packs a few episodes ago. I think it's a pretty good deck. I think it could be more top tier and more polished off. Maybe you wanna go the more zoo route and get more going virals and less late game. Maybe the pogo and the mix ups are the only um, are the only like uh, mid, mid to late game that you have to just kinda control them for you to build up your zoo again. Um, but yeah, this deck did pretty pretty well. We're running the one read spray just to get rid of like um, you know nut decks and stuff. Um, let me know what kind of decks you guys have made with Neptuna. I've heard a lot about Conjuring decks. Um, we only have the one Doctor Space Time. I really like to get more of him, but he is a super rare. And um, yeah, so we'll be building up our collection and continue to make improvements to this deck and other decks. Uh, let me know what kind of hero you want to see and what kind of concepts um, you guys think should be explored from this new set. And um, yeah, that's all for, uh, for now and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching. And uh, peace.